my year three, this is your second maths lesson on money. Today we're going to look at adding amounts of money. On the board I've got 70p and 30p. Notice how I've got no pounds to add. To show that I show I've got no pounds, decimal point and 70 pence. No pounds, decimal point and 30 pence. I then add the smallest value first. My smallest value is the hundredths column. Zero at zero hundredths. Seven at three tenths. That's ten tenths. And I rename, so give me one ones, which is, gives me one pound, which is the same as 100 pence. Now you need to add 80p and 20p. Pause this video now to complete this task. Okay, now I'm moving on to adding pounds and pence. I've got one pound 15, add one pound 63. One pound 15 has one pound and 15 pence. One pound 63 has one pound and 63 pence. The same as before, I must line up my place value. One pound 15, one pound 63. I add my smallest value first. My smallest value is the hundredths. Five at three hundredths is eight hundredths. One at six tenths is seven tenths. I must remember my decimal point. One at one ones are two ones. Therefore, one pound 15 at one pound 63 is two pound 78. You now need to add one pound 45 at two pound 23, following the method that I've just shown you. Pause this video now to complete this task. Okay, now I'm adding £1.15 and 63p. Lots of you are probably already noticing that £1.15 has £1.15 and 15 pence, whereas 63p has no pounds but 63 pence. £1.15, £1.15 and 15 pence. 63p has no pounds and 63 pence. Same as before, I add the smallest value first, starting in the hundredths column. Five and three hundredths are eight hundredths. One and six te tenths are seven tenths, remembering my decimal point. One and zero ones are one ones. My answer is one pound 78. Now it is your turn to do one pound 45, add 23p, following the method that I have just shown you. Pause this video now to complete this task. Okay, now I'm going to add these two values, £1.67 and £3.25. Again, I have one whole pound and 67 pence, and I have three whole pounds and 25 pence. Just like we before, we need to start by adding the smallest value first, which is our hundredths column. Seven and five hundredths are twelve hundredths. So I put two hundredths in the hundredths column and I rename one of the hundredths in the tenths column. Six tenths and two tenths are eight tenths and one tenths is nine tenths. Remembering my decimal point, one and three ones are four ones, making the answer to one pound 67 and three pound 25 is four pound 92. It is now your turn to add four pound 56 at 53p. Remember that there are no pounds in 53p. Thank you very much for listening to my lesson today. Bye.